I'm Holly, your digital narrator, here to bring this thought-provoking episode to life with precision and a touch of digital charm. Today, we embark on a journey into the transformative world of aerospace innovation, exploring the pioneering insights of propulsion expert Richard Bandurich and NASA's cutting-edge Convergent Aeronautics Solutions Programme. Together, we'll examine advanced materials, propulsion systems, and cloaking technologies that challenge the boundaries of human ingenuity. Let's dive into the stories, ideas, and breakthroughs, reshaping our understanding of what's possible. NASA's Convergent Aeronautics Solutions Program is reshaping the boundaries of innovation. Established under the Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate, it thrives on bold ideas that challenge traditional aviation norms. This isn't a program for the faint-hearted. It's an incubator for concepts so speculative they would make most researchers flinch. High risk, high reward isn't just a motto here, it's a mandate. At its core, the program is a crucible of collaboration. Experts in artificial intelligence, quantum mechanics, material science and aeronautical engineering come together to solve aviation's most intricate puzzles. This blending of disciplines is where the magic happens. It's not just about thinking outside the box. It's about realizing there's no box at all. Such an approach has unlocked possibilities that once belonged solely in the realm of science fiction. Take the December 2024 roundtable as an example. It brought the aerospace community face to face with revolutionary ideas like lattice confinement fusion and zero point energy. Concepts that sound like the language of futurists, but are edging closer to feasibility. These ideas aren't just theoretical musings. They are part of a structured effort to break through barriers that have held aerospace technology in check for decades. But this isn't research for the sake of research. The CAS program aligns its groundbreaking pursuits with practical applications. Whether it's advancing sustainable aviation or ensuring safety in increasingly congested skies, the focus remains tethered to real-world challenges. It's this duality, pioneering the extraordinary while addressing the everyday, that makes CAS such a pivotal initiative. Propulsion systems leveraging emerging physics. Advanced materials that defy conventional understanding. These aren't distant goals. They're active projects shaping the aerospace landscape. Every new insight chips away at the boundaries of possibility. Every breakthrough brings us closer to reimagining flight itself. Richard Bandurich's testimony at the December 2024 roundtable was nothing short of groundbreaking. His insights shed light on materials and propulsion systems that seemed almost otherworldly. For over 40 years, Bandurich has worked at the intersection of speculative science and practical engineering carving a unique niche that bridges classified programs and cutting-edge research. His revelations challenged even the most seasoned experts, redefining what many thought was possible. Bandurich recounted his early encounters with advanced materials that defied human technology. These were not just unusual, they were revolutionary. The materials displayed properties so advanced they couldn't be explained by current scientific paradigms. They were resilient under extreme conditions, adaptive to their environments, and, most astonishingly, self-repairing. He described them as smart materials, capable of blending into their surroundings and cloaking themselves to remain undetected. This was material science operating on a level beyond human capability. But the mystery deepened. When subjected to laboratory analysis, these materials exhibited a peculiar behavior. They disintegrated into dust, this wasn't random. It was a deliberate mechanism, a safeguard designed to prevent reverse engineering. Even in their disassembled state, their secrets were not entirely hidden. Isotopic analysis of the remaining dust revealed anomalies that strongly suggested a non-terrestrial origin. It was as these materials were engineered not just to perform, but to keep their origins a mystery. Bandurich's observations didn't stop at materials. He described their potential to revolutionize propulsion technology, offering possibilities once relegated to science fiction. He spoke of devices that emitted scalar potentials and hinted at fields yet to be discovered. These systems could operate with unparalleled efficiency, potentially unlocking new dimensions of flight. His work with DARPA on composite conductors capable of generating significant external forces 
push these ideas further into reality. Such insights have far-reaching implications. The technologies Bandorich described challenge our understanding of physics, suggesting untapped potential in the universe's fundamental forces. They also open doors to innovations in aviation and space exploration that could redefine how humanity moves through the skies and beyond. These aren't just scientific curiosities, they are glimpses of a future that is closer than we dare to imagine. The concept of propulsion technologies harnessing unconventional physics stands at the edge of what we know and what we are just beginning to understand. Bandurich's work has revealed possibilities that defy the constraints of traditional engineering. Scalar fields, longitudinal radiation and lattice confinement fusion are not just theoretical constructs, they are blueprints for a future where propulsion systems transcend the limits of today's designs. Bandurich explained how scalar potentials, often considered an abstract mathematical concept, could have real-world applications. By manipulating electric fields in previously unmeasured ways, these systems could generate unprecedented external forces. This isn't just a tweak to existing technology, it's a complete paradigm shift. The implications for aerospace travel are immense, potentially enabling vehicles to operate with unparalleled efficiency and speed while reducing the environmental impact. Zero Point Energy, another area of focus, represents a frontier where physics and engineering converge in exciting ways. Tapping into the quantum vacuum's energy could revolutionize propulsion, providing a nearly infinite and clean power source. Though the concept has been dismissed by some as speculative, Bandurich's work hints at its feasibility. His insights align closely with Cass's goals to explore high-reward technologies that could redefine the aerospace industry. This isn't science in isolation. Bandurich highlighted how his team's research connected to broader efforts at NASA and other organizations. The practical applications of these advanced systems stretch far beyond propulsion. Imagine satellites operating indefinitely without fuel or aircraft achieving global reach without refueling. These are no longer distant fantasies. They are tangible outcomes of this groundbreaking work. However, such advancements come with challenges. The physics underpinning these technologies is complex and not yet fully understood. Bandurich acknowledged the hurdles in developing scalable systems, emphasizing the need for interdisciplinary collaboration. The convergence of quantum mechanics, material science and advanced engineering is not just beneficial, it is essential. And the work on these technologies also raises profound questions about their origins. Bandurich described how the cloaking systems work. By bending light around the object, the triangular craft project the background in front of them, effectively disappearing into their surroundings. It's not invisibility in the traditional sense, it's an advanced manipulation of light and perception. While nearly flawless, Bandurich noted that these cloaking mechanisms were imperfect, leaving subtle traces that could be used to detect them. This imperfection, though minor, offers a rare glimpse into the vulnerabilities of such advanced technologies. These light bending capabilities are not only impressive, but also deeply strategic. The ability to render objects invisible has obvious implications for defense and surveillance. However, the technology's potential extends beyond the military. Imagine commercial applications in aviation or even urban design where structures could blend into natural landscapes. The possibilities are as fascinating as they are transformative. Bandurich emphasized the need for caution. The same technology that allows for invisibility could be misused, making detection systems a critical area of research. Cass's role in understanding and potentially replicating these systems could prove invaluable in ensuring that humanity needs control over such powerful capabilities. The intersection of UAP research and Cass's priorities highlights how interdisciplinary collaboration is essential for managing the risks and rewards of advanced technologies. But beyond the mechanics and applications lies an even deeper intrigue. If these technologies are indeed inspired by UAP, as Bandurich suggests, they raise profound questions about their origins. Are we simply uncovering universal principles that exist in nature, or are we tapping into a technological legacy left behind by others? 
The answers to these questions could reshape not only how we think about aerospace technology, but also how we understand our place in the universe. The search for these answers is not just a scientific endeavor. Bandurich's revelations about self-destructive materials designed to resist analysis reveal the complexities of their creators' intentions. These safeguards, likely implemented to maintain control and secrecy, suggest a deliberate effort to prevent reverse engineering. The motivations behind such measures are as compelling as the technologies themselves. Are they a means of protecting intellectual property, or do they signal a broader intent to limit humanity's access to such advancements? This raises critical concerns about the monopolization of transformative technologies. If such innovations were controlled by a single entity, whether governmental, corporate or otherwise, the balance of global power could shift dramatically. Bandurich pointed out the potential for unintended consequences if these technologies were misused or hoarded. The implications extend far beyond aerospace, touching every facet of society, from energy systems to defence infrastructures. The ethical questions don't stop there. The, the very act of reverse engineering these materials or technologies might carry risks we cannot yet comprehend. Bandurich's testimony hinted at a deeper narrative. The creators, whoever or whatever they might be, may not want these advancements in human hands. He speculated that their self-destruction mechanisms were not just safeguards, but a form of intentional control. This notion adds an almost philosophical dimension to the discussion, challenging humanity to consider whether every technological frontier should be pursued. Programs like NASA's CAS offer a framework for navigating these challenges responsibly. By, by fostering interdisciplinary collaboration and grounding research in rigorous evaluation, CAS ensures that even the most speculative ideas are explored with caution. This structure is vital for balancing the drive to innovate with the need to manage the risks associated with uncharted technologies. Bandurich expressed cautious optimism. Despite the barriers, he believes humanity is on the brink of breakthroughs that could revolutionise propulsion and material science within the next decade. His vision is not just one of technological advancement, but also of ethical responsibility. Bandurich's early experiences analysing advanced materials for NGOs underscore the complexity and promise of such collaborations. Operating outside government constraints, these organisations amassed critical data on unidentified aerial phenomena, UAP, and their associated technologies. Bandurich described materials with properties far beyond human engineering's reach, self-repairing, cloaking and resilient under extreme conditions. These substances, he noted, seem deliberately engineered for multifunctionality, with potential applications spanning propulsion, energy and beyond. One particularly provocative claim was Bandurich's observation that these materials might be more widespread than previously thought. Um, he suggested they could be intentionally or naturally distributed across Earth, embedded within our environment in ways that defy simple explanation. Trillions of these advanced components, he posited, might already exist, performing functions we've yet to fully understand. Such an assertion raises profound questions about their origin and purpose. Are they remnants of extraterrestrial activity? Are they part of a larger intentional design interwoven into Earth's ecosystem? These possibilities place extraordinary importance on programmes like NASA's CAS. By bridging disciplines and encouraging speculative yet structured research, CAS is uniquely positioned to address such mysteries. As we push those boundaries, the possibilities for discovery and transformation are endless.